is good for us. Um, that's a good big win for us uh, up at Washington State. So uh, we feel pretty good about it. We wanted both of them, but uh, coming out with one, uh, I feel pretty good about it. What did you learn from your team, you know, going on the road and, and getting the win as far as, you know, just the way you guys came out at Washington State, you guys seemed like a completely different team, you know, just jumped on them. Definitely. Uh, we played very well together. Uh, you know, we made plays for each other. Uh, we passed the ball and we hit shots. And uh, that was a big thing. We shot 70%, I think, something like that. So, um, you know, it was a very good game for us. Um, coach says you're going to have, you know, r some really good games where you're going to shoot good. And we, we shot good that game. So we feel pretty proud about that. 70%. Yeah. I mean, have you ever heard of anyone shooting 70% for a game? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. That's a pretty good shooting percentage. <laughs> Yeah. What are the key things you expect with the Stanford matchup? Um, you know, we haven't watched that much film about them, but um, you know, we know that they're a big, uh, a big solid team. Uh, they don't make a lot of mistakes. Um, but um, you know, I think uh, you know Stanford and Cal are the top two teams in our uh, league right now. So um, you know, it's a big weekend for us, and uh, we need to get these two at home. Stanford last year here caused you guys maybe as many problems defensively as anybody. Was it just their length or the way they play you that game? Um, I, I'm not really sure. Um, uh, I think it is a lot of it is their length. Um, they're big guys. Um, they're they're long and uh, they play very good defense. And, um, you know their coach Dawkins c comes from Duke. Um, you know who who is, has their staple defense and taking charges and stuff like that. So I think they do a, a very good job with, um, you know, really not letting you get to the basket and taking charges and stuff like that. So uh, well, we know that and uh, we're practicing that in, uh, right now and this week. How about you uh, personally? Like, how are you feeling? I mean, obviously you got off to a, you know, a, a good start personally in, in the league. Are you feeling comfortable with your shot and, and, and confidence and everything right now? Uh, I feel very uh, confident right now. Um, you know, I, I feel myself just getting more and more in a groove and uh, feeling more comfortable, um, you know, with my teammates and the offense and uh, where our roles are right now. So, uh, you know, I feel really comfortable and uh, uh, I just want to continue to get, get better and better each week. Not that this translates to basketball necessarily, but with the Ducks winning the Rose Bowl, does that amp you guys up? I mean, how excited as a team are you guys? Uh, it amps me up. Um, you know, I was very excited for the Ducks football team last night and uh, just proud being an uh, Oregonian and, you know, going to school at Oregon. Uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. So, uh, you know, I was very happy for them and uh, hopefully it does give us a little bit of spark. Did you watch the game? I did, I did. It was a cra crazy finish. I don't know about that uh, last call, but, uh, you know, I'm happy for the Ducks. Any extra pressure on you guys now? Like, hey, the football team did it. Um, I don't think it gives us any pressure. Um, we just got to play our game. Um, you know, it's two different, two different sports. So, uh, but, um, you know, I, I do think it gives us, you know, a little spark and, uh, you know, it gives a spark in the community, which is a great thing too. Lastly, uh, the fact you guys are coming back home, and then the students will finally be here. You know, yeah. I guess how yeah. excited for that? I mean, you know, had the pit crew. Back. I'm very excited. You know, I think the pit crew is great. Uh, they give us a lot of energy. The fans here give us a lot of energy, and uh, I, I always think that uh, you know we have the best fans in the country. So, last week, coach kind of was talking about how your chemistry needs to improve, and you know, passing the ball, assists, that kind of thing needs to improve. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that's that was achieved last weekend, or do you think that still needs more work there? I think it was achieved at Washington State, not at Washington. Um, you know, that's a big thing is uh, consistency with us, and we just got to be more consistent, and uh, we just can't have one good game that we do it and another game that we don't. We just got to gotta do it every day, and uh, I think that's the thing that we got to, you know, practice the most and uh, get down. Would you be satisfied with the split, or you would be disappointed if you don't win both? This weekend? Yeah. Uh, just general thoughts on Stanford? I mean, you've played them a few times over the years. Yeah, I think you know they're a tough team. I think they, uh, you know, they play good defense, and uh, you know, I think they have a, a good rhythm right now. So you know, they're going to be a tough team. But I think uh, you know we're looking forward to this weekend definitely. Is it something is it that size or defensively? Remember last year that last game here it seemed like they had about eight blocked shots or tipped balls on. Shots that they yeah, I think handle. they're pretty big and they're you know physical. They do a good job of uh, 
you know, uh, help, helping each other, you know, uh, help side defense. I think they do a really good job. So, you know, that's, uh, I think, uh, something that they focus on. And, you know, I think they just try and make it uh, hard for the other team to score. You guys, um, obviously Washington, their record is what it is, but they're still one of the more talented teams in the, in the conference. I guess, where do you guys, you know, how did you gauge your, your team now after you get a chance to go up against them and, you know, obviously, obviously go out and watch yeah, I think uh, I think this weekend was good for us. We had a good game against Washington State, and then against Washington, you know, I think a lot of us, uh, you know, watched the film, and you know, I think we saw a lot of things, a lot of opportunities, uh, you know, that we had, and and uh, you kind of, you know, after watching it, I kind of just wanted to go back and play the game again, right, right after. But you know, we got to keep moving forward, and you know, this is a big test this weekend uh, with two better teams in the conference coming in. You know, but luckily it's at home, and you know, hopefully. Uh, we can make some of those plays that we wanted to make against Washington and, and learn from our mistakes there. You're another Oregon guy like EJ when we were talking Rose Bowl. Did that get you guys? I mean, I know it doesn't translate to the basketball court necessarily, yeah. but is it still a pretty big deal? Oh, yeah, it's a, that's a big, huge deal. Um, like I said, they hadn't won since, I think, what, 1917? Mm -hmm. And so that just creates a lot of excitement with, uh, with our fans, you know, and they'll be looking for the, the next thing to get excited about, and hopefully we can do that. Uh, by providing them with a, uh, you know, entertaining basketball. What about the fact that I mean, school's almost back in. I mean, uh, do you think that you guys will have a bigger crowd because they're, yeah, maybe people are coming back home? Definitely, I think so. And uh, you know, I think people get excited for the Pac-12 season. And uh, you know, like I said, after that Rose Bowl win, people, you know, will be you know, looking for excitement. And you know, I think that will will draw bigger crowds for us. And you know, we're excited for that definitely. Are you the type of guy that kind of sits at home and watches the game, like cheers and like most guys? I don't know, like me. I don't know. You yell at the TV. Were you watching the game? Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I was definitely getting excited at my house. Uh, you know, I was, you know, definitely pulling for the Ducks, and you know, I'm so happy they came came away with it. Uh, you know, I have some friends on the football team, so I'm happy for those guys, and uh, you know, it's just a big thing for uh, this whole program. Extra yep. pressure on you now, the basketball team, get something. Uh, I wouldn't say pressure. I think uh, more excitement. Uh, you know, I think we're we're ready, and I think we're excited to, you know, like you said, play in front of, you know, bigger crowds, and you know, I think uh, we have a good opportunity in front of ourselves. So.